Hello, what we're looking at here today is the burst off water and fluid control system. Now, some of you out there may have seen our previous video which shows the burst off principle working on a much more of a prototype type basis. And this video today is to show you um, the stage that we're at now. So if you can see here we have um, a mock-up of a typical cold water plumbing system. And the whole system is controlled by this electronic panel here. Um, so what we've got is the cold water main rising up here into the traditional stop tap. Above the stop tap we have a solenoid valve with a green light and the green light indicates the valve is open, water is ready to flow. So okay, the water is going to flow up here, across here, down here, across this way, to this T piece and up to this valve here. Now I'm going to show you in a second uh, what that valve is all about. So moving across here, carrying on from here, We've got the water flowing along here and the hook up here into this authorised point here, this tap. So we'll turn the tap on, see the water flowing, turn the tap off, turn the tap on, water flowing, turn the tap off. So, unlike um, existing products on the market, the burst off is so called because if you get a burst within your system, the system will immediately close off. Okay, let's talk about what can cause a burst. The main, the the, uh, the majority of causes of burst pipes are obviously by frost damage. What happens there is the water in the pipe will freeze and form a plug. The plug will expand in the pipe, and any water that's trapped upstream of the of the plug will compress within the pipe, cause so much pressure it will actually burst the pipe open. Hence the word burst. Now there are other reasons why you can get major leaks in pipe work. Uh, accidental uh, burst for instance, knocking a nail through a pipe, that's a common one. Uh, accidentally cutting of a pipe. Um, there are many reasons why bursts can occur, I think we all can agree on that. So what I'm going to show you now is, um, back to this here, this is a, a, um, a, a tapping or a T-piece, a junction within the line this is going to simulate or indicate a burst and what can happen when I open that valve it'll be, it'll be the same as uh, having a burst in your pipe so I'll turn this on now and let the water flow and see what happens now you see what happened there we had one attempt to switch the water back on it recognized the burst We've got an audible alarm over there to say we've got a burst and the system needs attention. So just to show you, I'll turn the water on there, there's absolutely no water at all. So I'll go over here now and reset the system. So going over to the panel, you just press the reset button there and the system is restored. That has been taken out of the equation, imagine the burst has been fixed there, water is back running again. So that is the difference between the burst off and any other previous system that's on the market. The system will cut water off immediately. Now also, apart from water, we can also see the system being adapted to suit gas. So it would work virtually exactly the same. You would have a gas uh, valve, a uh, solenoid type valve above your meter. Um, all your appliances would be uh, able to operate and run normally. But if you have a gas or a rupture or a split in the gas line anywhere in the installation, the gas valve will close off. And we estimate this would be a massive enhancement in terms of gas safety, uh, reducing gas buildups and um, risks of explosion, of course. So just let me add that we've also got in the system here a bypass, um, which if you get a, a complete power failure or system breakdown, which of course we don't expect, then you can open the manual bypass and that will introduce water back into the system and it will just run as normal, unprotected of course. So there you have it, that's the burst off system, I hope I've fully explained it. The uh, purpose of the video today is just to give uh, people out there an update of what, what what's happening and um, I would say thank you for your interest and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks very much.